So we're at the Freescale Technology Forum 2011. So what are you showing in this area here? So this area here is all of our uh, industrial and medical demonstrations. Specifically, to my right and left here, we have uh, medical demonstrations based on uh, all of our 32-bit cold fire, our uh, Cortex, uh, our Kinetis products based on the Cortex M4 core. Uh, we also have products based on our uh, SO8 architecture, uh, as well as products from our partners. All right, so you have, uh, this is medical appliances, or what do you call them? Medical products. These are all medical products, uh, specifically the, the products that you're looking at right now, are what we call consumer medical or home portable medical products. Uh, a couple of the products that we're featuring here, one is a uh, end product from one of our customers, Insulate, it's an Omnipod. It's a uh, uh, tubeless, wireless insulin pump system. So basically it's powered by uh, uh, an I.M.X product, which does feature the ARM, uh, ARM 9 core, and we also do have a, uh, a specific custom ASIC module in the uh, what we call the Omnipod solution. All right, so here is some uh, Kinetis K50 stuff. Correct. So this is one of our uh, recently announced uh, Kinetis products. It is the Kinetis K50. Uh, this is based on the Cortex M4 core and the scalable Kinetis portfolio by Freescale. This specific product is targeted for home portable medical products. Uh, it does have uh, an integrated analog front end with two 16-bit A to Ds, uh, two operational amplifiers, two tri-amplifiers, uh, as well as some DACs. So basically a lot of integrated analog specifically for home portable medical devices. Is that to lower the cost and increase features or what is it? What's it? Well exactly, it ends up lowering the cost for our overall customer base in the home portable medical space. So we do have our microcontroller and all of these home portable medical products do require an analog front end. And taking those discrete analog products, bringing them into the microcontroller, lowers our overall customer's cost. So at the keynote, uh, you were showing kind of like a vision of the future. What were you showing at the keynote? True. So we were really showing uh, a vision of the mobile health or telehealth monitoring space or remote monitoring space. So Freescale is really focused a lot on uh, products that help chronic disease patients. And that really focuses on diabetes and cardiac disease. And in addition to that, just the remote monitoring space. So the solution we put together features blood pressure monitors, which could be based on some of the uh, uh, Kinetis Cortex M4 products, just because of the ultra low power capability and some of the low power modes we have there. But then also, uh, there's a lot of I.MX solutions, specifically in the Vigo robot that we showed. Uh, that contains two I.MX products. Uh, the Chumbi solution that actually connects the uh, BAM Labs biometric sensor, uh, that contains some uh, I.MX products, again, based on uh, the ARM cores as well. So we do have a, a pretty full-featured uh, demonstration. So he, he's driving the Vigo robot over there. And what is the bed uh, supposed to show? So basically the bed is a, uh, we'll say, a, a typical bedroom for a uh, uh, potential elderly person or someone with a chronic, uh, chronic condition. With that, we have the Chumbi alarm clock, which is actually able to uh, wirelessly take in data from both the BAMLAB's biometric sensor, as well as things like a blood pressure monitor, a weight scale, a glucometer, or a thermometer. And all of that data can then be transmitted to a, uh, a tablet that's also powered by an I.MX arm solution. All right. So people with chronic disease, but how about everybody? Should everybody get technology like this very soon? Well, I think eventually our, uh, our healthcare system will force us all to be a lot more conscious about our health. Uh, I don't know how soon we'll have situations or, or uh, uh, situations where we'll all need to have constant blood pressure measurements, constant blood glucometry measurements, but I would say in the long term it's probably good for overall health. Nice. And here's the robot, the Vigo, walking around. <laughs> yeah. This is Vigo. Nice. That's the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Is he on there? No, no he's no. not. You gotta no, go over there if there. you want to be the doctor. <laughs> you can remote control it. Oh.